Bringing news from Meghalaya now, sources have informed India today that the UDP, the United Democratic Party, may play kingmaker in the formation of the state government in Meghalaya. According to sources, the UDP is inclined to join forces with the BJP but remains in a huddle ahead of its final decision. If the United Democratic Party goes with the BJP, then the alliance cobbles up about 34 seats, a safe three more than what is required as far as the halfway mark is concerned. This would include the BJP, Conrad Sangma's NPP, the PDF and the HSPDP as well as an independent. Kiran Rijiju, KJ Alphonse and BJP Meghalaya MLAs are currently at former Chief Minister Dr. Don Kupar Roy's house in Shillong. The three possible scenarios that could end the Meghalaya suspense. Let's take you through scenario number one which is the BJP going ahead with their two seats and tying up with the NPP. Remember, NPP is Konrad Sangma's party. They have 19 seats. This together takes them to 21, plus the UDP, the PDF, the NCP, the HSPDP, as well as others. This would take this entire alliance that would be and could be cobbled up to 38, which is seven past the halfway mark. That's safe way home, really, for the BJP. And they could then form the government along with the NPP, which has the second maximum number of seats in Meghalaya as we speak on Red Sangma's party. Most likely scenario there. Scenario number two. The Congress tying up with the same parties except for the NPP, which is Conrad Sangma's party. So we talk about the Congress tying up with the UDP, the PDF, the NCP, the HSPDP and the others. Others, remember, are four seats. They also play a crucial, crucial role in this. And that takes the number of seats yet again to 38 as far as the alliance is concerned. Again, seven past the halfway mark of 31. This is a possible scenario. Scenario number three is where the Congress goes ahead and ties up with the NPP, Conrad Sangma's party. But this is the least likely scenario, given the fact that the BJP already has a pre-poll tie-up with Conrad Sangma's party, which has 19 seats. To the UDP also, which is an important regional party here, that we will, BJP will support the non-Congress coalition government in Meghalaya. Hopefully, we have talked about the other like-minded parties with them. And the other thing is going to be going. So, they are going to be meeting with them. So, I think that after 1-2 hours, it will be clear that the picture will be clear. But we have opened the other parties with the discussion on the channel. Supriya Bhardwaj has been tracking all the developments in Shillong. She joins us live from there. Also joining us live is Paulumi Saha, who will give us the perspective from here in the New Delhi's BJP headquarters. Coming to you first, Supriya. Till yesterday, we thought it was Conrad Sangma who really was going to be the kingmaker, but it now seems to be the UDP that really holds sway in this uh, state election and obviously in the post-poll scenario. Well, the situation is just cleared uh, as far as the entire uh, for government formation in Meghalaya is concerned. UDP MLAs have come out and said that uh, they are going to support NPP, which means the NPP-BJP alliance. They are saying that along with UDP, there are many other MLAs who are there. And uh, we have just spoken to the working president of uh, the UDP who has said that it's all settled. The mood is that to form a government in Meghalaya, which is a non-Congress government, and that's why we are going and going to support the NPP and BJP alliance and they're saying that at the same time they will go and meet the governor today itself and will say uh, let's uh, uh, put a stake on it. I will try to get uh, to the MLA if my camera person Ravi Khan can just pa uh, pan the camera a bit. Sir, uh, have you decided that uh, you are going to form the government, uh, uh, you are going to support the NPP? Yeah, 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 we have decided, we have decided. a non-Congress government uh, is more, uh, you know, preferable than uh, than the. Uh, but the know. Congress leaders also came and approached you. We saw BJP also approaching you. This is always the case. Everybody is approaching everybody. <laughs> so, uh, how do you see the entire situation now panning out in Meghalaya? Till when you are going to go and meet the governor? Until when you are going to uh, tell them that uh, you are going to support the NPP? See, for the sake for the for the sake of stability, we thought uh, going with the NPP and a combination of uh, two, three other groups also will be much, much better.
Well, and uh, how many numbers uh, do you have? Uh, do you, uh, I mean, you have six, but uh, do you have other parties also? The other regional parties that are going to support you? Or did you have a word with uh, them? Yeah, every likelihood that uh, some other groups and well, parties will be will be joining. Well, interestingly, Mr. Mukul Sangma has just reached. He's the former Chief Minister of Meghalaya. You can see behind me where the media is. That's Mr. Mukul Sangma. Though the UDP is saying uh, that they have decided, their MLAs are the working senior working president of UDP have just said that they are going to support. Uh, uh, the, you know uh, the. NPP, but it's not over yet. Mukul Sangma, former Chief Minister of Meghalaya, the Congress's leader, has just reached the house of Dr. Roy in Shillong. Entire action is happening here, where the kingmakers, the five key MLAs of the UDP, are going to decide as to whose government is going to be formed in Meghalaya. Though UDP MLAs are coming out and saying that they are going to uh, support NPP, but with Mukul Sangma coming here, it seems it's far from oh, uh, getting over the entire action just happening in Shillong as far as the government I can government just interrupt. The breaking concerned. news you have for us is that the UDP, at least the representatives of the party, are coming out and saying, yes, we will be supporting Conrad Sanma's party. That puts it to 27, if I'm not mistaken, because you have the NPP at 19, you have the BJP at 2, you have the UDP at 6. So that takes the number to 27. They still have to find at least 4 to 5 more uh, seats really, representatives of these seats to go ahead and form that government in Meghalaya. Well, absolutely, yes. Uh, as far as the UDP is concerned, they are saying uh, that, uh, uh, you know, they have the, uh, they are going to back NPP. I'll try to once again get uh, and meet, speak to the uh, to the concerned uh, UDP M MLAs. But here the situation is panning out in a different fashion. The Congress leaders are also now coming here. It's far from getting over. We'll try to get in a word uh, uh, from uh, Mr. Uh, uh, you know, sir, you said that uh, you are going to support uh, uh, the NPP, but Mr. Mukul Sangma is here. It's far from over, or you guys have decided? No, parties are uh, contacting uh, every party, con contacting every party. Uh, I mean, this is natural only, but uh, the mood of the um, MLAs in our party is for forming, you know, a non-Congress government. Right, but now Mr. Mukul Sangma, former Chief Minister of Meghalaya, Congress's leader is here. We saw Mr. Karen Rijiju also come here. Is it far from over or you have made up your mind, your party has made up your mind? You are the senior working president of this party. Yeah, yeah. We have already made up our mind to go with, with the non-Congress non uh, group. Well, it was interesting. More and more senior leaders are coming at the moment. Now, Mr. This is really interesting. Hemant Biswa Sharma has also reached here. You can see behind me that uh, it's all happening here. Both Mr. Mukul Sangma, who is uh, the Congress's leader, and now it is BJP's Mr. Hemant Biswa Sharma who has reached here. Now, this is called what is what we can say being the kingmakers. These five MLAs are going to decide the fate as to whether it will be a Congress government or a BJP government uh, which will be formed in Meghalaya. It's all happening here. We just saw Mukul Sangma and now it is none other than Himanta Biswa Sarma who has just reached to the house of Dr. Roy in Shillong. So Priya, do stay with me. We also spoke with Mukul Sangma a short while ago. Let's just listen into what he had to say. We look forward to seeing how the things unfold and then we are, uh, I have just uh, informed the Honorable Governor that having done my, uh, you know, that whole, um, rather after having fulfilled my obligation, then uh, indicated that I'll be coming back to him. BJP has only two MLS. How would they like to form the government? They have only two MLS. That means they want to fire from the shoulders of other political party. That is what BJP has been always doing. Let's get in a word from Polomi Saha, who joins us live from the capital as well. Polomi, you have Himanta Biswa Sarma there. You have Mukul Sangma also outside the UDP uh, president's house there. Both of them wooing the same party that's playing kingmaker. But what are your sources within the BJP telling you? A pact is more or less done with the UDP? Absolutely. What the UDP legislators just uh, told my colleague Supriya uh, is absolutely clear. Their final decision is that the UDP wants to be part of a non-Congress coalition in uh, Meghalaya. The Congress is moving in a little too late. Yes, they might have flown in Kamal Nath, uh, Mr. Ahmed Patel and Mukul Vasnik uh, yesterday itself, but Himanta Biswa Sharma, Ram Madhav, these are the individuals who have been working on the ground from much uh, before 
any of the Congress's top leadership, in fact, moved into Shillong as well. They had anticipated a hung assembly and they'd been working on the ground previously itself. Like I was, in fact, uh, informing, um, you know, um, uh, the channel earlier as well. The fact is that the BJP is very confident that they are going to be part of a non-Congress uh, coalition government in uh, Meghalaya. They've got the NPP on board with its 19 MLAs. The BJP has two. UDP comes on board with six. And where the UDP go, the PDF uh, as well as the HSPGP go as well, which makes it six plus. Plus they have the support of one independent as well, which takes the tally to 34. So the BJP is comfortably poised uh, to in fact uh, form a government in coalition with the NPP, the UDP, as well as uh, the, of course, uh, the PDF and the HSPDP and one independent right now. Uh, Mr. Mukul Sangwa is coming in a little too late. Himanta Biswa Sharma, that's just a good call. Let's not un try to think that he's trying to crack a deal over there because he's done the deal already as far as the, a non-coalition government in uh, coalition, uh, non-Congress coalition in the state of Meghalaya is concerned. This is, a done, this is a done deal. Also, going back to Supriya once more, Supriya, it seems that uh, the candidate, the chief ministerial candidate will also be more or less uh, a decision, a foregone decision with Conrad Sangma being the head of the state. If the BJP comes to power along with the NPP? Well, it's still... Well, it is still, uh, you know, uh, we cannot, uh, I mean, it's such a, it's, it's still a speculation because of a right. simple reason uh, that as far as both these parties are concerned, both these alliances are concerned, uh, we are hearing that uh, the UDP is going to play it very tough. They might even end up asking uh, the uh, post of chief minister also because Dr. Roy was a former chief minister of Meghalaya mm -hmm. and then he, uh, you know, formed his government. Now, as far as Mr. Conrad Sangma is concerned, we have to see as to what the situation will pan out. When the Congress is, uh, was there, they are also saying that they have the numbers. They have already met uh, the uh, governor of Meghalaya and they are saying that keeping that right. in view, uh, their uh, tallest leaders are present here in this very house where we are. So, uh, as far as, the, uh, as my colleague Palami was saying that from the BJP side, it's a done deal. But uh, the Congress warlords are still maintaining that it's far from over. All right, so you see both the national parties going ahead and wooing Dr. Roy's UDP. That's the latest we have for you. It seems that the deal is more or less done. The BJP as well as Conrad Sangma's party along with the United Democratic Party will be possibly forming the government in Meghalaya. Thanks for watching the video. For more such news and updates, please like, share and subscribe to India Today. Also check out our other great videos from our channel, We Know You Would Love To.